Mikhail. So, yeah. I must confess that I, I did change <laughs> what you asked me to talk about. Uh, because like Gavin, I say, okay, no, uh, yesterday I, I've seen that a lot of people know about uh, some of the real-time technology, some about uh, GitHub, about, about probably you all know how to configure a boat in a chat system, how to collaborate better on top of this technology. And I realized when listening to the talk yesterday that uh, there was a lot of discussion involved around around community, around uh, distributed development. And instead of talking about the tool, go going into technical uh, details, I will talk about a, st a story about what we did, what we, we did achieve, and how actually we transform uh, from an open source project, which were, were an XMPP project, uh, uh, following the opportunity uh, opened by Cisco, exactly, I will transform into a company. This is not an easy move, and, uh, uh, and I wanted to focus on, uh, on that transformation. So I, I trashed everything uh, yesterday uh, evening, and, uh, and I restarted again to focus on that. So I first started, I'm, I'm talking about a transformation, so I, I, I felt that it was mandatory, so I'm, we, we are a kitten transforming into a, a frog, <laughs> and uh, maybe into a charming prince, so please kiss me, I'm, uh, I'm charming. <laughs> so that's done. Now I can talk about the project. So we started uh, with an open source project, which is called uh, eJabberD. We started in 2002. Actually, I've been working uh, since a long time on XMPP. Before it was even called XMPP, it was Jabber, those Jabber things. So uh, I, know a bit, uh, a bit, I knew a bit about the project. I was very fan of the Erlang programming language at, at this time. And I felt it was a very good fit uh, between a telco uh, oriented language, conveying calls, and uh, with what we were trying to achieve on Jabber, which were conveying messages between between people for chatting. So uh, we we I, I joined uh, Alexei, uh, Ukrainian developer, very talented uh, uh, developer, and and uh, we worked together to build uh, to build uh, this project. We have been uh, I would say lucky in in, in the sense that uh, uh, we managed in in, in quite a uh, short period of time to make it quite a, the, the reference server uh, in the XMPP world in the sense that it's a, it's a reference server if you want to, to run uh, on a large scale or, or uh, distributed uh, with clustering support. So uh, th this, is, uh, this is something we, uh, we have been, I would say, lucky to, to, to achieve in, in such a short amount of time, uh, a, a couple of years. At this time, I was uh, I was born uh, bored by my my job, and I was thinking about creating a company. But uh, so from the beginning, this was the idea: if, if if we are successful, we can build a business on top of that. The problem is that uh, how, how do you transform? How do you go from a community, something which is uh, peop the, where people code on their free time, to a company making money on on on, on that project, and uh, so that that's the end result. I, I will go uh, later on further, further, uh, but I, I, I will first talk about the community relationships. The problem with when when you do that is uh, you you do not make friends. You have problem with uh, with uh, w possibly with assholes that like it was uh, discussed previously. Possibly you uh, you represent yourself as the asshole because you you're taking uh, something that is built by a community and you and you're making uh, business uh, business on that. So this was a uh, very uh, I would say difficult task, difficult transition. So you you start hiring people that are community member and you 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 put a barrier between the people that are working for the company that are getting paid for writing code for that project and the people that are not, that are still volunteer and, uh, and spending the time working on, on, on that project to, to, to make it better. So this is, uh, this is something which is uh, really difficult. What we, uh, I would present what we manage, uh, what we are to today, how, how we are working, and uh, uh, it would help better uh, understand the challenge, the other challenge that we had to face. Actually, we, we are 
currently tw 25 people we, are, we have uh, 20 developers working uh, working for, for for process one and we are really distributed because we started as a community there, there was no reason to change the way we were working we had people uh, contributing for the project in in Ukraine I'm working with Alexei we are uh, people contributing in in, in Spain and it, it's very uh, it was very uh, beneficial for the company to, to 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 keep on working working like that the, the, the main uh, shift we had to achieve was that uh, a part, a large part of the, the task we were doing was uh, for customers. So it was not for, uh, uh, you, you, you had result to, uh, to um, end result to, 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 to provide to your customers. So it, it, it was a big shift in terms of uh, uh, how people that were working for the community had to work at, at that time. I remember just for for let you know, it was very difficult. We have a uh, a guy which is uh, very uh, ver very straight, and uh, if someone a user reports a problem and say, "Okay, your your report is incorrect because you miss this, and I need that, and please help me f uh, give giving me that uh, kind of thing." And in 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 a business relationship, it can be a problem because the customer might be offended by by the way the developer will be speaking to. Uh, to, to, to the customer he is not used to that working with a big company providing uh, providing that software so the challenges uh, we had was that we we were all writing software in our free time and suddenly we had to uh, to run uh, platforms uh, with 24 7 uh, commitment to, to 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 make it work with people that were able to call you at night and say okay it doesn't work. Fix it. So that that was uh, that was a challenge. So the, the the thing is that during the first year, I I, I was knowing most of the people. I I hired them, and it was a way uh, for me that I, I I organized the company and distributed the task around single task pair people. I say okay. I know we are going in that direction, so you can work on that part and you can work on that other part. The problem with that uh, approach is that it works, but you cannot achieve big uh, leap uh, doing that. Y you need teamwork at some point and coordination to achieve great things. So here you see that they are switching, uh, <laughs> switching plates uh, in, the, in, that, uh, in that photo. So what we, what we wanted to do we say okay. We 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 need to communicate more. We need to. Uh, I was I hired everyone, so I was the cent center of the people who were coming to me to say, oh, tell me what 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 should I do next? And this is not how you want to to to, to run a company. So you need to have people collaborate and discuss together and build things on 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 their own. So uh, at this time, I met uh, uh, this uh, person, Floor. Uh, which were uh, a scientist, and she she has been working in the open source community, doing am amazing studies about uh, about how community works. So, to give you an example, she she has been working on the, on the Python community, and she tried to understand just based on the mailing list, for example, how the decision process worked. So she analyzed the Python uh, announcement proposal mailing list, the core mailing list. And analyze every mail. This mail is uh, a decision. This mail is closing the debate. This mail is opening the debate. To try to map the Python community and understand how it works. And you you find very interesting things when you when you do that. Is that you can have implicit decision. It means that if you look at the, the mailing list for for her, it was there was no decision taken uh, at all uh, during uh, dur during the meeting. And actually, when you ask to, p to the people involved, they say, oh, yes, we decided that and that. And, and it was consistent. So they're so used to work with each other. And they're so, uh, they, they, they know very, really well the strength and the weakness of each other that they can organize naturally around that. So we try to adapt that approach to, to, to Process One. And we, we did a very interesting thing, is that we asked her to come to Process One and we open, we give, we give her access to our emails. Everyone in the company say, "Okay, I, I'm okay for that girl to to read our emails. I'm okay for that girl to have our chat logs." 
and to analyze the relation the relationship between the people in the company and try to find a way of area of improvement well, what uh, what are the good point is there people that are alone in in in, in their focus to focus on their work so and actually when you think about it uh, working uh, distributed mean that a lot of uh, the the relation the engagement you have with other are generating data so you can analyze them you can get them and 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 get something out out, out of it so you can get email you can find uh, in the ticket system who is producing the most ticket who is solving the most you can see commit you can see people that are supposed to talk together but never uh, talk together so that's uh, that you, you it leads to very very uh, in interesting result i will try to make it short <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, uh, and actually she mapped uh, her work on communities with what we have been doing uh, at, at Process One. And uh, she extracted interaction diagrams, she extracted, we, we, we work, we are spirit on, on various time, time zones, but sometimes people, we have people uh, close to Mongolia and he shift his work hour to, to be closer to, to us. So we, we had a map of how, when they are available and when they are not available. Uh, we have a map of the le length of discussion. And this is, this is something you should do. So one thing uh, I would recommend if you want to try that on your own is that we thought about we should write a piece of software and make that permanent gather the data and generate matrix uh, on, on the fly. The thing is that you, you don't want to do that. You have to negotiate the trust of your workers because for, for a period of time, there, w there won't be any privacy. Uh, their mails might be read uh, and uh, they might be, they mi you might know that you're not talking or not with, with this person. So this is something that you, you want uh, to do from time to time uh, and uh, w with a person that is able to gather the truth of the team, so they they will be okay that she she will be reading uh, reading uh, email and, and getting conclusion. So the the thing also I want you to warn uh, you about if you want to uh, do such an experiment is that yes you have raw figure but you also have to analyze them. You have to analyze them and for example get uh, qualitative information. So for example, we ask everyone to, to, uh, to explain how they see their role in the company and how they see the role of the other people in, in the company. So this is, this is a work, raw, raw work of someone. So this is very nice and uh, quite artistic. Another example from someone else, row as well. So this is a relationship, and uh, this is text file. So not not as artistic, but this is this is row data, and this is someone else we <laughs> work. So we 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 had to uh, to to get a meaningful result because otherwise you get things like that. So you you know who is see, this is French, sorry, but this is this is a French thesis on on process one. But uh, you, you see that you you know how many. The, the ratio of which people are, are talking which, uh, with who at which time by, by roles. And you get raw data, but it, it doesn't mean anything if you don't put, you cannot get into a solution or possible fix about possi problem you detect if you don't understand uh, what, is, what is in people's mind and why they don't talk to this person at this time and, and so on. So you, you, you need to do both if you want. That's my advice if you want to, to go to that, uh, to that direction. There, there was another topic I, I wanted to talk about, but I won't. <laughs> so uh, yes, I hope you, you like that talk better than the one I had in mind previously. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. I, I changed my topic. <laughs> oh, you actually looked at what we were talking about and did more of that. Shocking. Um, <laughs> thank you so much, Mikhail.